Hello guys, this is Hams. I'm going to start a tutorial for Visual Basic Advanced Macro Programming for Excel. And because my computer is not running anymore, Katia, so I cannot make any more videos for Katia. Uh, but in this time, I will teach you how to use Excel and Visual Basic. Because in the future, I'm going to try to teach you how to use Visual Basic for Katia so you can program some macros to make your job easier so my Excel is 2007 and it's in Spanish but it's the same for the English version so to start Visual Basic which we need to go to View in this case Vista in Spanish go to Macros and show macros and here we want to type a name for our first macro so I'm gonna type my first macro and we just to click on the create button so this is the visual basic you can see it here and the project explorer is the most important part because here you're going to have your model, classes, uh, cheats or workbooks open it so here as you can see here we're in module 1 this means this model so all the code that we insert here is going to be inside this model so if you double click on cheat number 1 you can see on the top how they change and all the code you put here is going to be on the cheat number 1 and the same for the workbook and the properties is going to apply for workbooks or modules or forms that you are going to add to your project so to insert a module or a class you just need to right click insert you can see user form model or class so basically a user form is to have a user interface most of the time so but for in this case we're going to work on the model one so just double click on it and you can see here sub means it's a subclass of the file your program and my first macro is the name of the macro so when you run this it's going to call your macro and it's going to run all the code inside here mm, this is another important toolbar because here you can move to your excel file and if you, if you need to return to your your visual basic you click on it you can select the macro and modify and you go back again here you have the save button the find button the control D the eject the room macro stop macro well pause macro and stop macro be in the sign mode and this is the project explorer you turn it up if you close this you can just turn it on here the same for the properties and this one is for the toolbox and this one applies for the forms so so to write our first macro I'm going to, use, I'm going to show you how to use the message box it's very simple you only need to write fmg box the standard is, is to put it between the message between this you can type hello world and just click outside here and just run the macro and you you're going to see a message box to say hello world so yep there is and uh, just click ok to stop 
the macro another important thing to do is run the macro step by step you, you can do it by pressing the F8 key on your keyboard and you can see how a yellow background appear where is the the code running you click again F8 you're going to see how the code is it's going to the next step so if we click again it's going to eject the message box you can see here click OK and if you click again F8 is going to end the macro so this is our first macro you can do the same on Katia and please tell me what you think about this tutorial if you want to learn more about this if you are interested on it and if you need some help to create some macros in Excel and macros are very useful in your day-to-day -day work so you can make a lot of improvements in your work and I will wait for your comments and thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video